Hey, what is up guys? This is Atone here once again. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a like good looking Fortnite banner for YouTube. So, I'm just going to hop right into it. So first of all, you're going to go to uh, make a new um, file. And it will be 2560 by 1440 pixels. Alright. So, one thing real quick I want to ask you guys is please, uh, just a sec. Alright, so please do subscribe and leave a like on the video. I'm pretty close to hitting these marks, but I'm going to need a bit for this one. So, But we're actually pretty close to a thousand subs, so that's awesome. Alright, so the first step after you've done that, that was just my quick little plug. Alright, so... Now you can go to this website, fnbr.co. <coughs> Damn. And you can find the skin you want. I'm choosing Heidi. And I'm just going to go to the skin. Find the feature one and open image in new tab. That's what I did. Right click. Copy image. Alright. And then I'm going to paste the image right here. So now what's up next, grab this tool, which is the quick selection tool, put it on this, and just start selecting the black. Alright, and then you're going to take, click that, this button right here, the minus button, and then you're just going to go in, make it a bit smaller, and then... Just kind of get the rest of the hand and other parts. Um, and then don't forget things like this. That aren't technically like on the outside. And it can be a pain sometimes, but it's pretty easy overall. Just some spots. It doesn't have to be perfect for it to work. Alright, and I think down here, yep. Oh crap. Alright, cool. So now we have that. I'm going to right click, select inverse, and then I'm going to actually undo that. Click clear. So you still have this selected. Clear that. Oh. So now. Clear. 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 Perfect. So now right click. Select inverse. And now right click and click feather. And then what you're going to want to do. Is zoom in probably before you click feather. Click feather. And then. Yeah. Five. I'll try that out. And this just kind of makes it more, like, smooth, you could say, on the sides. So it doesn't look all sharp. So you disconnect. It looks pretty good. It doesn't look perfect, but it looks good. So I just got to get rid of this little border. Alright. So now we have a pretty good looking Fortnite skin. Okay, I'm going to try to make this quick too. <coughs> Alright, so make this a bit smaller. We'll put it about right there. And then I'm going to put a inner glow on this. But as normal for now. And then turn the opacity down. Alright, so now you're just gonna find some pictures from um Fortnite, so I'm just going to look up Fortnite 
field. All right. And this one, most of these will work. This one's pretty good. Um, all right, I'm gonna use this one. So just kind of look around and see what you can find that'll fit best in your opinion, the area. So for mine, I think it'll be this one. Alright, so that's pretty good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. Do something kind of like this. And then I'll have this half of it be this color. So it's like a little, sort of like a graphic kind of thing. As you can see, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to get rid of this. Alright, make sure you're saving. So already you can kind of start to see it coming together pretty well. So what I'm going to do is make a new layer behind this and mask it onto the green. And then I'm just going to put a overlay behind her. So almost looks like she's glowing. All right, and then I'm gonna double click on her, the skin, put an outer glow, and just make this like a bright green, a bit brighter than that. Just make this as big or as small as you want. And then the inner glow, I'm gonna make it a little bit green as well, just so it all kind of blends together. All right. So that's already looking like a thousand times better than it was a second ago. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is recolor this area. So first of all, I'm just going to mask a layer onto it and take this black and go black and white. Alright. And then I'm going to go layer, new adjustment layer, levels. I'm going to mess with this until it's kind of the way I want it to be. Which is kind of like all sort of that same gray. So, kind of like this. So, now what I'm going to do is put a black layer below this and then just turn the opacity down until it's about there. All right. I am going to turn this outer glow down a bit now because it looks pretty intense. Now that there's no um, nothing behind here. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little line for detail on this thing. So, pretty simple stuff. Just going to select doesn't have to be perfect just kind of pop 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 like that and boom and then I'm going to throw on this red I think as accent color maybe I like matching the skin to the banner I think it looks pretty good alright and then now below that I'm just going to add some shadows to the green so with that I'll just go like this I just grab the green from the dress again and then I'm just gonna put that on like a soft light make one more and just do it again this kinda almost looks like a Christmas themed header alright so Next up, this is starting to look pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is add a drop shadow behind the green. So all I'm going to do is make a layer below it. And grab black brush. 
and then just go like this. It's the easiest way to do a drop shadow. And we'll move it over just a little bit. And boom. So that'll just kind of keep it simple for you guys. I'm going to add some detail on this. Um, right here, this layer. So, turn it up. So we have a nice little separator. So all I did was put an inner glow on the red layer. And it looked like that. Okay, so next up, I'm going to start shading this background part, which I'll do like almost nothing on because it, I just kind of want it to look pretty simple for the video purpose. So I'm just going to do like a light like this kind of. So nothing crazy, just a simple overlay like that. And turn it down. Alright, and then I'm going to experiment with something real quick. So just to say, this might look cool. I'm going to have this be color. Um, yeah, I think that might look cool. Maybe if it was just a bit darker. Yeah, I think I'll leave it. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Um, let me turn this down some more, though. About there. And this is all just personal, like, what you think looks best. So, feel free to modify it however you want. Alright, so now I'm going to put a box on top. This is going to be the layer right below the green. I'm going to just type in name. All right. And then just to keep it simple, um, actually, this, this font might work that I have. All right. So then I'm just going to do control click on this layer. Actually, just right click. Um, and then rasterize type, control T, right click, perspective, pull our perspective out, like that, maybe, extras, make sure it's centered, and then this is a really easy way to do it 3D, so you just make another layer below, and then choose the color you want for it. And then just spam, hold alt, and then spam the down arrow. And it's just going to make a ton of copies of that layer. And then all you have to do is scroll to the first one and the top one and right click merge layers. So now you've got one 3D layer. And it looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to do some quick shading on this. Hopefully this isn't like too much for some of you new guys that are watching to um, keep up with, but if it is, just let me know and I can try and make it more simple next time. Grab this color and put it on there a bit. Do a quick inner glow. Right, and then that is like as simple as it can get in my opinion well I mean you can always be simpler now I'm just going to put subscribe over here alright and then I'm just going to make this a, a simple font something easy to read Alright, and then scale it down like a ton. Oh. Man, there's always something. 
that's a bit off. Alright, and then, I should just type it on caps, but you can just make it caps if you want, like that. And then I'll shrink it a bit, line it up again with the center, make sure it's kind of lined up. And we should be good. And then you can always throw your social media over here if you want to, that sort of thing. I'm just going to put a quick drop shadow on this. So it's all preference. I mean, like if you want the shadow coming from the other way, I mean, what's stopping you? Alright, and that should work. So I tried to keep it simple. Um, last thing I am going to do real quick is show you guys some quick stuff. So layer, new adjustment layer, brightness contrast. There's just some quick things you can always do to kind of make your thing look a little bit better. Adjustment layer, hue saturation. Touch up the color a little bit if you want. So if you want it to be more... This way, that way. I think I will put it a little bit more pink ish. I mean, I'm going to turn up saturation a little bit. Layer, new adjustment layer, color balance. And you're just messing with all these things till you think it looks good. Um, and then you can see right away, usually, if it looks good in your opinion or if it doesn't. Alright, and I think that turned out pretty good. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Once again, we're really close to a thousand subs. So if you are watching the video, please do subscribe. And check me out on Twitter at AT1NE and Instagram. And thank you guys once again. Peace out. Let me know what you want to see next time.